Hello. Now we'll see how to uh, log in and create an account in Pushbullet. Go to pushbullet.com. Go for sign in. I have already a Google account with me. So I'll use that account uh, to create an account. Now my account is done. As shown previously, I have already done my account uh, on my mobile phone using Android. You need to log in here separately. It's an extension of Chrome. So whenever uh, you do any activity uh, over the push app, <clears throat> it will appear on all the devices connected. Fine. You can see two high messages from other device. It came from my mobile phone. Fine. One more important part here is go to settings and you can add any other uh, connections also like another uh, mail IDs also from where you can um, send notifications the important step here is you have to create access token in order to speak to these applications from your edge device or the node mcu so i will click on create access token click on access token now this is the token with which you will be speaking to your push billet application so let me copy this and I will use this in my code. I have just pasted the code, pasted the API key in my code and uh, you know how to set up your push billet uh, account. And this is the important token you need to copy. These are the things to be done at the push billet side, nothing else. Go to devices and add your devices with which you, you want to uh, communicate with. So how to communicate? So there are a set of APIs which have been already documented. You can just click on API, which will take you to docs.pushbullet.com where they already have given how to create a push. So creating a push is same like these all fo uh, follow the JSON format itself. So we need to push this notification in JSON format. Uh, this is the URL to which we have to push. And uh, we also need to specify a few parameters like note. And what is the type of message? All this. Coming to the code, it's quite very simple. If you, I have created a lab tool project, you can get this code. So the four important things we know we have been using the JSON format or the JSON communication protocol to communicate with the web applications and we need time we need uh, micro requests and we need network then if you go to the main program there is only one routine connecting to the network the very next function i am using is notify notify and the notification that you want to push to so when coming to notify what i am doing here is i am just filling a named buffer body this is the buffer and the name of that particular variable inside the buffer is body inside body i'm writing my custom message custom message is what you have passed from the main program here i just do a post as i've shown you previous uh, api what you need to post to which particular url this is the url to which you have to post and what is the data to be posted the data follows certain format here this is the variable data to send it's a global variable i'll tell you what is to be filled, filled in that and uh, along with that we need few headers called pb headers so we are just filling the data and headers with the structures that we are creating coming to pb headers pb headers are your api the key that i'm using currently so i have show, shown you how to generate the key and uh, use it in the code and Content type is application JSON, host is push bullet. These things are need to need not to be modified, not even a single bit. So don't try to tweak them. And data to send this particular buffer. The type should be note and the title should be whatever you want to put for that particular notification. And body is the message that you want to share. Now this particular code, I'm just trying to flash once I flash 
if i see in my browser i have a dummy notification now also in my phone i got a notification uh let me record and show to you you can see it has already come let me restart my device my device is here i'll just restart okay let me see whether any notification comes here it goes that's quite delayed you can see it on my pc also and both the places it has come fine this is how we push notifications to the mobile phone or a browser using push bullet thank you